Okay, so let's get into recaps. Let's start with the thing that we didn't do from last week, which is gra- gravy. Yeah. Gravy. This is get some get a nice get a nice sc- spoonful ladleful of gravy on top of this tuna goon pile. Mmm. Just with your garlic mashed potatoes, just in time for fall. Mm. So this was, according to Alex Hirsch, the last fluff episode of the season before shit hits the ground running, uh, starting next week. Um, this is an episode with an incredible premise. Stan goes on a road trip across Oregon to sabotage all the other shit-ass roadside attractions to uh, eliminate competition from his shit-ass roadside attraction. And mm-hmm. the kids come along for the ride. And uh, It's pretty great. Plot B. Or I guess plot A, really. Yeah, uh. di- yeah. we find out that like, Dip uh, Mabel finds Dipper's stash of pictures of Wendy. Wendy pics. And he's, Wendy shit. And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm and still doing like, this. like, we thought we were done with this. I thought and we like cleared the, that up in season and like the one. Beginning of the, chill out. And like the beginning of the season, dog. I, th- I feel like it was almost like, like, like a, like, he didn't want to let go more of just, like... It was still, like, super weird, but it's like, what is that, like, a memento from when you were creepier? Like, what, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> ah, the good old days when I was objectively terrible. So, uh, Stan offers to give him a crash course on picking up chicks, and it's Stan and it's pickup artistry, so for... it's terrible twice. <laughs> and for some reason, Dipper's like, sure, this makes sense. Because he's, uh, 12? But like if but like if Grunkle Stan would have like given him advice on anything else, I guarantee you he'd be like, "You're Grunkle Stan. You don't know anything." Yeah, but he believed him. I'm Dipper. He's I'm the smart one. Twelve. Trips on his own. Nothing. He's twelve and horny. He's twelve and twelve. He needed to get his wiener There's looked the... at. <laughs> twelve. Um. So you know they so go on the yeah, adventure. So a candy and um, Grandal Grandal are there. Um. Uh, Great. It's pretty great. They have wonderful goofs. You know, they go to all these ridiculous fun places, sabotage them, and each place Dipper gets a new a gal. Uh, email address <laughs> from a gal. And to be fair, like, I don't know, like, good on you. You sealed the deal. But, like, now you can just be cool and talk to them. Yeah, like, none of the things that he did were, like, sleazy. The, only, the sleazy part was that he just kept doing it. That he was putting them in a, yeah, the, you know, yeah. in a... He was making a collection. He them. was, yeah, yeah. He well, he was, he was using them as practice, essentially. Like, oh, this, these interactions don't actually mean anything to me. And like, on one hand, like honestly, like in in something that isn't a plot-driven, like writer-conceived scenario, like yeah, of course you're never going to see any of them ever again. Yeah. So I guess on that level, it's like it's like yeah, but you still you shouldn't like collect. Email I was assuming address. he wasn't. I was assuming he wasn't gonna do anything. Yeah, me too. It was just like, but the, like the whole concept of like, I got this many. You know, just like you know. Oh yeah, no, totally. Say you hit it off. You're you're building up your confidence. So you don't have to like keep. You don't have to make it a mission. I, 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 you know. It's, I feel like I feel like I feel like the main. I feel like he just like he figured out how to do this, but then like he realized there's just more steps that require another buildup of confidence, and he was just like, "No, nah, I'm just gonna stay here. I know how to do this. I guess this will be fine." He could have emailed one of those girls, had a pen pal. Nah, you what? Email 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 a girl? <laughs> Dean, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, they couldn't say Skype. Like Skype is real. Is well, Skype real? <laughs> text. Yeah, like this is what people do now, but I yeah. guess these kids don't have phones. Also, there's probably no reception in this backwards Portland country. Yeah, that's true. Why didn't he just whip that out? Like, oh, I realized that I don't even have like the only laptop I have is from like 1972 and a demon broke. It. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so I quickly realized I can't contact any of you anyway. So they they get to the the last place known for its spider people. Stan <laughs> hits on some lady who, guess played what, by, turns out to be a spider person. Played by Chelsea Peretti. Oh, boy. A horrifying spider person. Like, I was okay until she, like... Pulled her face off. Pulled her face Wait, off. spider. Uh, and then... Oh, yeah. Candy found um, 
Dipper's new, uh, like, confidence kind of attractive. So she was like, oh, he's kind of cute. I have, like, a tiny 12-year-old crush on him. And Mabel was like, great, which I went like, Mabel, what? Are you that obsessed with matchmaking? You know, that's weird. Your best, I don't know, I just, I just assume, I just would assume that, like, a, like, she a, thought like, it was the best thing ever. Part. Yeah, right? So, they try to hook Candy up with Dipper, but of course Dipper's got all these other chicas, and of course they all show up at the same place during the date, and they're all like, you're a fucking pig, blah! And Dipper's like, I'm a bad person. <laughs> And then he gets the call from Stan that he's under attack by a s- spider person. Dipper, I tried to fuck a spider. <laughs> you cannot blame. It didn't go as well as you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> they save Stan, have a high-raising adventure. Candy shows her pro- her um, her stuff, impresses everybody, yeah. and everything's great and funny and, and happy. Le- they left. They left Seuss in a corner. Oh yeah, they left him in the maze maze. <laughs> Yeah, and um, I showed you guys that uh, deleted. I actually stinger. forgot about Seuss until the end of the episode, <laughs> <laughs> and did I was I like, you... "Oh yeah." Did I show you that uh, deleted animatic for the uh, stinger? The ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was freaking funny. I don't know if I've seen that one. Is like, uh, like a helicopter? Yeah, Seuss is rolling the around in the maze uh, to. Pour everything to like push everything down so it says I'm bored, and the guy in the helicopter is like, He needs help! So, like, he goes low and is like, Hands tooch a little book, and then he opens it up. It's like, a, It's a book of maze puzzles. I'm like, sorry, wait, what? Seuss, a little book. You, you said you said tooch instead of Seuss, and they rhyme. Well, that's how he, he sees you in his mind's eye, tooch. <laughs> now you know. Shut up, stop it. Yeah, he hands Seuss a, a book of maze puzzles, and then tooch is like, Oh, dude, I love mazes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you, you just did it again. You did. Motherfucker! Oh, man, now, well, we have to, now we have to, no. like, do... Uh, I, th- I think that was our fault. We stuck it in his mind. Cat's out of the bag. Uh, Nikki's Dipper, I'm Mabel, and Tooch is Seuss. What's up, dudes? Uh, all right. I thought you were laughing at my good impression of Seuss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what's but... next? Uh, Harvey? Harvey. Harvey. Oh, Harvey was hilarious. Ha- did we talk about how... Harvey Did we talk b- before about how Randall is Mark Maron? Uh... I, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Because I, I don't feel like I knew that. I don't know until... enough about Mark Maron. He's a podcast guy, and that's all I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's Randall. I don't know if I knew that before. I certainly didn't. I don't know who that is. He's a podcast guy. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I thought you were, like, comparing them. No. I don't know enough about Mark Maron to do that, but he's played by Mark Maron. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I didn't know that already. Because, I re- cause, like, Mark like Mark Maron Mark Maron is, has a podcast where he interviews com- other comedians because he's a comedian, so, like, they're all friends and whatnot, and he basically is, like, the biggest... He's, like, the biggest comedy podcast. Mm. Yeah. It- it's like it's like the kind of comedy podcast that's so popular that you're like a dad would listen to it. Yeah, and like and like other podcasts are allowed to like talk about it and make fun of it without worrying about like unwanted cross promotion, like how we like how we aren't allowed to talk that much about Mabim Bam. Uh, so Harvey, uh, is barely in this episode. Yeah, um, he has like one line. Yeah, it's so it's Fifu Randall Randall's mom and a, a Renta mom played by Yvette Nicole Brown. And Jeremy. The, uh, and Jeremy's there for a bit. Which, I, I like that, you know, Fu and, Fee and Fu have what it takes to uh, lead an episode. They can, they can... Oh, yeah, they're yeah, great. Yeah, they were yeah. wonderful. Well, because, like, I mean, because, like, uh, Fu, like, Fu was the first character designed, so he was originally going to make the show about Fu, right? Mm-hmm. So, clearly, yeah, they've got the, they've got the chops, the stuff, the moxie. So, they're looking at Randall's rental store for something to overpower Harvey smell because harvey discovered cologne and he's been going too crazy with it because of course he has because he's harvey that poor it makes boy. me sound it makes me smell like a sports athlete <laughs> he's so oh. Cute. Oh. uh and you know randall's complaining about his mom as he always does and because his mom is terrible but it's also the mom he deserves because he's terrible yeah mm-hmm. she's terrible but like could be worse 
Yeah. I don't know. She's old. She's, old. she's just old. Um, and then he, he ends up renting his mom to Fee and Foo. And Fee and Foo are actually pretty excited about it because I think as... They're weird. Well, no, because as mentioned in a previous episode, you know, they don't have parents. Uh, so it was kind of fun for them to kind of have, like, this adult person to hang out with as, like, a mom figure. Like, and they were pretty into it until they were tired and made her go to sleep by just throwing a blanket over her. Uh, but the whole time they were, like, they were never complained about her at all. They they seemed to be really into her thing. and Yeah, they, they were they were smelling everything she was stepping in. It was a great time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but then, you know, it was time to return her. And Randall's like, nah, I don't want her anymore. I hate my mom. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you dumb? And, you know, Fee gets really mad because she's like, she's your mom. You don't get to pick who your mom is. She's your mom and she has to be your mom and you can't just not have your mom be your mom. That's not how it works. But he rents a mom, which I guess is a service. Uh, it's actually kind of Bloom County. Yeah. Bloom well, County, well, if you've never read it, I mean, it's, it's a web, it's a, I almost said web comic, fucking hell. It's it a is newspaper. now. It is now, but it's a newspaper coming from the 80s, and one of the main characters, Opus, would always dial, like, a dial-a-mom phone service. It's like a sex hotline, but it's just you get comforted by a lady. Yeah. What was it? It was like, the the thing, it, it's mom, but it was an acronym. Mothers on mail. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Mail one mom. I don't know. Mail order moms. Mail order moms! <laughs> <laughs> so then they have a contest... To try to prove who's the best mom because principles and whatever. Of course, Randall's mom loses because she's just like this grody. Th- th- it. This, she can't do anything. She's this delightfully wretched woman. <laughs> but, you know, Randall. I like how she's like usually never like. Hey, she's usually never mean. She's just like, she'll just roll up and be like, just like, Randall, you need to check your mold. She's like, just really like nonchalantly just saying awful Randall, shit. Randall, your hat, you need to, girls like a good scalp. <laughs> when you were born, you were so misshapen. <laughs> but now you have a good scalp on your head. You should show it off. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, he has a change of heart. He takes back his mom. He has a hilarious flashback of all the <laughs> wonderful memories they've had together, which consists exclusively of them yelling at each other. But the favorite one was at the spelling bee. Yeah. <laughs> um, takes mom back, and then the kids get to spend the rest of the trial with the rent mom And everything works out. And it was really cute and nice and funny. I and Harvey it a lot. probably still smells really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Harvey. They just got used to it. <laughs> yeah, you know how bad you have to smell for Fee and Foo to, to start to seek solutions? <laughs> like, Foo was, like, smelling that sock, that shoe, and he's like, yeah. I, I'm picking up shoe <laughs> with an ode of sock. <laughs> like, he's so cute. Uh, there was a wander this week, this uh, Monday of this week, but... Disney XD is being a buttface and is not letting me watch any of the Wander episodes they have. Like, any of them, not just the new one. So we can't talk about that this week, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I didn't seek it out because I need a kid. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah! Wow! Hopefully um, it'll be fixed so we can try to watch it for next week. Uh, because it's a good show and I miss it. I wanted to watch it. Uh, but... There was a new Rick and Morty, and I believe it was it's the penultimate one for yeah. this season. Yeah, the preview at the end, it was for the season finale, and it involved Squanchy. But th- this episode, the purging or whatever. <laughs> look who's purging now. Look who's purging now. Yeah, look who's purging now. Oh my god. Oh, you know, the, 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 the purge, it's a purge, Morty, like, you know, like that movie, like that movie, The Purge. <laughs> Stupid movie. Uh, very Dan Harmon, this one. Yeah. That movie sucked. Yeah. It looked like it sucked. It's like, it did. <laughs> how does that, re- in the trailer, it's like, uh, unemployment is down to 1%. What? I don't buy that. That's, yeah, like, that's not, not, even not within, how any Not even that within works. the stupid well, logic of this movie. I mean, movie. if everybody's dying, there's less people that need jobs. So actually, kind of does make sense. Shut up. Me- 
Oh my god, if that's the actual justification that the population is so low due to the murder <laughs> that everybody can get a job because... Yeah, the, they just the kill guy, all the oh, homeless oh, people. Uh, well, I mean, we were, uh, we were all filled up. Hey, uh, you sent in your resume? We weren't looking for anybody, but, you know, after that purge, uh, oh, we are, we need people. <laughs> 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 Do you guys uh, get that? that worked for me. I get the feeling this season that Harmon has had more influence. Do you guys get that? This episode seemed like it was a follow-up um, of... I don't... I don't, I don't know. know. I just... I feel like a lot of the stuff, at least in this latter half of the season, just really has a lot of Harmon smeared all over it. More I'd, so than the first season. I'd have to... I'd have to see more of Royland's origin. Like, what... what I, I, I don't really know the difference between him and Royland's shticks, respectively. Um, it feels like this episode was the follow-up to Morty's rant in the last one. Yeah. It was like, what's wrong with all this, you know, if we want to make something super violent, I can't, I'm not, not going to worry about your delicate sensibilities, and then he just does an episode, then they make an episode where 400 people die on screen. Yeah. Ma- oh, yeah, maybe that was, maybe that was why he said that, because he was like, like, that, like, we gotta, we gotta, like, have some small little, like, cop-out cushion for before we drop this episode on everyone. I guess. So they they arrive in Amish planet by accident because a space bug Amish cat Pla- planet planet Amish cat because a space bug fucked up their windshield and they have the purge of course Rick's excited Morty isn't and it plays out like you would expect they end up getting stuck on the planet they have to survive they kill a lot of Amish cat people. I love the guy who's Jerry's like... Jerry's pathetic. You, you can stay in my lighthouse as long as you listen to my tale. And he just reads a screenplay. Ugh. Oh. And yeah. And it's bad. Uh, meanwhile, back on Earth, Jerry is... Bored. He's trying to con- He's trying to connect with Summer, and Summer's like, This sucks, and you suck. I don't wanna... <laughs> well, it's actually because he wanted more money to, to call, uh... What was that guy? <laughs> Patty Williams or something? Something like dumb like that. Essentially a call a mom service that's just like, I'll call you and be your best friend. Yeah, but for a bro. Uh, Morty unleashes his fury on the people. Before that, he like wants to get his dick wet with some cat girl and tries to rescue her and that screws them over and blah blah blah. Uh, I don't know. So pretty self-explanatory, though it was kind of interesting. Like, I guess like the theme of this season is that you know Morty is really like very much becoming, becoming Rick and being corrupted, and like yeah. Rick is like Rick doesn't want that. Rick to happen. doesn't want it to happen. Like he's noticing it and he's like actively trying to encourage it in the opposite direction. Like in the Moon Man episode, like at the end, he was like trying to make Ricky. F- Ricky trying to make um <laughs> Morty f- Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> trying to make Morty feel good about what he did. And then in this episode, you know, he gave him the excuse like, "Oh, you you just ate some purge or rectum purginol candy bar, and that's why it's, you got all angry." You ate some purge Viagra. It's nothing to do with you or your character, or where you're going, and la la la. My, my favorite part about that lie was it's like, okay, like, oh, you think like, oh, well, he made up Perginol. No, it's real. It just wasn't in that candy. It used to be, though, <laughs> but now it's Perginol free. <laughs> like, that was the only way that they could, they could communicate that. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is that he's seen a lot of purges. Yeah. My favorite was, like, one planet I went to, they just called it, like, Murder Fest or something Murder like that. Night. Murder, Murder Night. Murder Night. <laughs> so, like, you know, this is adding a lot of feel to that, like, alternate Morty theory going around about, like, evil Morty and stuff. Like, Morty definitely does have this potential to be a very destructive, crazy person. He's the Mortiest Morty. Yeah. So we'll see where that goes. Can't wait to see it and then feel bad. <laughs> what was the the stinger at the end of this one? Uh, that that, that was that the was reveal of the uh, the Colabro thing of the of the hotline. Yeah, and and Beth is just like 
Jerry, get a job. Oh, shit. And Jerry Jerry can't figure out how to turn off his <laughs> new TV because there's no buttons on it because it's 2015. Oh, my God, Jerry. On the side, stupid. So on the next... Mine are on the... My TV in the living room, they're on the back, like, awkwardly in, like, the upper, yeah. like, the lower middle. It's, I hate Let's it. Let's talk about uh, TVs for a so while. Next episode of Rick and Morty, to find out, does Marty become a corrupted sociopath? Does Jerry get a job? Or does Summer stop texting? Find out! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does Robin get out of the shark tank? Uh, lubba lubba dub dub. And then we got a Steven. <gasps> This is a this is a fun episode. I was just mad that it This was this is my favorite episode of Steven Universe. Holy shit, I like I forgot. How, how great it was. This is like the what? best episode. <laughs> yeah, and guess who made it? This was a Florido Zook joint. Yeah. yeah. Zook. This one had uh yeah, visually the funniest one. Um I was just upset uh. that it had to end when it did, that we were out of minutes. I was yeah, like, no. and, like it really felt like time just ran out. Yeah, I mean the next episode is basically a continuation of this. It's just it's keep going. More par- more tiny paradox cat, <laughs> more feral paradox cat who's never been in a house before, and it's just jumping on everything and is terrified. <laughs> She's just a cat. That's what cats do when they don't know where they are. So like this this episode kind of confirms the theory that I guess a lot of people were having that Peridot would like join the Crystal Gems or become an ally, which we were initially like opposed to. But it does seem I, like I that's the direction there. that we're going in. So, you know what this I, is? You know what this is? Shut up. Do, you know I, what this is? <laughs> this is reinforcing the comparison that she's Vegeta! Oh, snap. She's the bad man. Oh, yeah, because Jasper is essentially out of the picture like Nappa. He died. Yep. No, Jasper needs to come back. Jasper needs to be Brawly. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. <laughs> that guy's dumb. So. Oh, man. So, y- yeah. Yeah, like, uh, and we also learned that she's a uh, she's got robo parts. Yeah, which... she's tiny. Lim enhancers, as they're called. Um, she so um... it really is like Mega Man X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do remember uh, being opposed to the idea that she would like because I, I I liked her so much as a villain. But the way they're doing this is like un- I didn't <laughs> see it. Co- I think that's the thing. Like I never. I didn't see it coming. Like, I didn't know how they would do it, and this is the least. I just didn't expect it to be this kind of just like, oh, it's just balls-to-the-wall hilarious. <laughs> this is this can easily be, just be described as fucking screwball. Yeah, she just yeah. lives in his bathroom. <laughs> Breaking all the shit. She, she, yeah, just her hanging on the, on, the, on the bathroom, on the shower she rod. <laughs> she knows how Steven poops. <laughs> it, like, another thing, like, if it is going to be like a Vegeta, she's just going to keep being a pain in the ass. Yeah. She's never going to stop sucking. <laughs> I wouldn't want her but to. But she's going to be the, she's going to, she's going to never stop being a jerk, and yet she's going to be the best character. Yes. <laughs> Everyone loves. Uh, and, you know, we, we've learned a lot about what gem civilization might be like just from this look into Peridot. Like, the fact that she has to have these limb enhancers in order to be, like, functional because her base form isn't powerful enough. The fact that she gets so exuberant that being able to slap Steven with her actual hand, like, causes a result that she's just, like, slappy, 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 slappy. Like, she's just, like, (laughs) she's just, like, drunk with the power that she actually has. And then, you know, how she thinks everything is a weapon and, you know, all this stuff. Oh, that's my comb I never use. (laughs) Because his hair is too curly. It's too coily. You know, so, like, gem culture... Sucks. Seems to suck real, real bad. Uh, I do. I am curious if she has a weapon though, because she when yeah. I saw I saw like a I saw like a fan comic I saw like a fan comic that was sort of like a what if scenario where it's like what if like she never like got like found out how to get her weapon because like I don't know if some role that a paradox would be you know all wild speculation like how Stephen had to figure like, it out yeah. Yeah, so it'd be interesting. What if Steven teaches Peridot how to use her weapon? Oh my gosh. Uh, I, 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 it's, I love how Garnet poofs her. Like, it's really brutal. <laughs> yeah, she just like, crushed her. She just squeezed her until she stopped being with alive. Her big, with her big hands. <laughs> just crushed. I, I loved how Peridot abducted Steven, too. 
<laughs> like that was actually pretty creepy at first because Steven was like half asleep, and then you saw the oh, triangle, yeah. and you're like, oh. <gasps> yeah, that was that was terrifying. But now, now that paired out's like this, if I <laughs> like glanced and saw paired out at the end of my bed, I'd be stoked to be like, yeah, <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> These are my banana pajamas. I have, now I have four cats. Oh. Uh, and she like, she's like wearing like her design. Like she looks like she's wearing socks. <laughs> She's a little pajama. She's a little pajama. Yeah, like, Steven was in his banana pajamas, and she was in Appar- her pajamas. Yeah. Apparently, like, because, like, um, uh, Amber Roger? Yes. Forget, yes? Uh, on Tumblr is Ego Matter, like, uh, she, like, posted, like, some concept stuff of them. Like, apparently the crew universe like, thought really, really yeah, hard Rebecca about what Paradox Sugar design was going to be. Like, yeah. how, what, or Biggie, two-toed yeah. socks? <clears throat> Would the ankle be colored? Ankle or no ankle? <laughs> this is the most important part. And it's just like, it just looks like um, socks. Is the, it's cute. I love it. I love it. I want, I want, I want a Peridot toy, and then you can take the arms, the extensions off, and she's tiny. <laughs> That'd be cute. I like that they just chucked her limbs into the ocean. <laughs> I know. Oh, Bye. Oh my god. Amethyst? Every line she had in this Amethyst episode was on her game was fucking on point this gold. Episode. Like the, she, these two are really good at writing Amethyst. Like a fish. Like a fish. <laughs> also, apparently Amethyst can use the bathroom. Well, yeah, I mean, Pearl mentioned it in um uh fusion dinner that like one of the reasons why she hated eating is because the food has to pass through you. And it's gross. I forgot about that. And Amethyst was like, "I love eating. It feels weird." I just, I just figured, I just figured Amethyst was a Kirby. Nah. <laughs> she goes, she poops in the ocean like a fish. Like, what was the thing she said? What? Like, what Homegirl the knows we're gonna crush her like green pancake. <laughs> like <laughs> everything the- she says, like it's good to have you back, Stephen. It's like it's only been like an hour. Or no, no, it's no. What was it like? Is, is it? Is, 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 it's been enough time. Is it is, enough time has passed for us to joke about it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like wow, I'm paired out. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> and then it's like it's enough time has passed for us to joke about, it, right? <laughs> Steve's like it's only been like an hour, and she's like, eh. I'm gonna go eat garbage. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go like, in my I'm room just, and yeah. eat garbage. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! But like, I'm just picturing. I'm just picturing like Amethyst, just like kind of in the middle of the day, like the like maybe the beach isn't that populated because it never is, but there's just like somebody's just sunbathing. All they see is like Amethyst go waist deep in the water and just, just squat and be like, "Yo, <laughs> sup?" <laughs> and like her facial expressions, like when she got Peridot with her whip, like she did the pose, and when she had the yeah. pizza, <laughs> it's just yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, it's go time. So she just eats the whole box. Or the or the toilet thing. It's like, don't try to flush yourself down the toilet. It doesn't work. I've tried. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh my god, everything she like, said. Like, every, I, I, every line. I knew that that shot of Peridot was coming, but it was b- uh-huh. better than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> they, I think because like they 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 stuck on it enough. <laughs> they might have just done this like knowingly. Like they stuck on it long enough where you can just make a loop. <laughs> It's just so funny. Let me and, like, search Paradon the... on Tumblr and see if that happens. And her... It was... I, I found it two minutes after I watched the episode. Oh, uh, like, just, like, fucking the mirror and playing around on the pole and, like... Oh, my God. Yeah, she, she, she doesn't even like it. She's just like, a, like an animal, <laughs> like a bird, just sees herself in the mirror, like... <gasps> <laughs> like, they don't have mirrors? I was so mad at that other dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Oh, and so the next episode is called When It Rains, and it's about paired up being scared of thunder because oh, she dope. thinks it's the cr- the. Oh yeah, we forgot to talk about the important uh, oh, plot. All the foreshadowing. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm sorry. The what? No. The uh, the Not cluster. Important. Apparently, it's something that's gonna. Ha- it's in the earth, like in the center of the earth. Maybe I don't know. Deep in there, I'm it's gonna okay, hatch. Uh, and friend, friend of the show, friend of the show, and friend of mine, uh, Justin, aka Gamma Jam, is, uh, has has the theory that it's a, that it's an enormous like kaiju sized uh, fusion. Cluster. Yeah, me too. Like, like monstrosity. I, I had that feeling, and like the whole idea was that it was supposed to destroy the Earth, so punish the crystal gems twice over. 
Yeah. Where it would be, one, you know, you're fusing them all together in this this painful abomination, and two, you're destroying the planet they went to protect anyway. So, ultimately, they lose. And then they'll have to... They'll have to, and then they'll have to fight it, and they'll, they'll have to turn into the, they'll have to turn into like the temple fusion, but with Steven instead of Rose, well, with all of them, and then it'll be like the second season finale of Korra, but make more sense. Yeah. Yeah. But be just as red. <laughs> yeah, which which is a pretty nefarious plan. It's like, okay, so we can't beat you right now, but we're gonna plant this secret thing that you don't know about, and in like a th- couple thousand years time, it's just gonna destroy everything you worked for. Yeah, like. We're all immortal. A thousand years is like an hour. Oh, so evil. Oh, I can't wait. I, I just, I need, I need to know Yellow, what Yellow Diamond is like as a villain. Scary. I mean, I mean here's the, here's the, uh, if we're gonna stick to the patterns, uh, Frieza. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. And, like, somebody mentioned to me that, like, when Lapis was, like, looking towards Homeworld, she was looking towards four stars? So, maybe each what? diamond is... Because we know there's, like, the diamond quadrangle or whatever. So, maybe Homeworld yeah, oh, yeah. is actually, like, just four... It's like a, it's like a, a system? A system, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Who, let's find Be- Becky Shugs and everybody else. They know. They'll tell They'll us. They'll tell us eventually. You know, some, some, someday. <laughs> when we're ready. When, when we, when, yeah, when it's time, we will know. Because to be honest, like, I'm not ready now. Yeah, like, I'm not ready shit. now either. Holy shit. But. <laughs> so, like, this, like, this, like, two Steven bombs close together almost murdered. But so. Yellow Diamond is coming. I mean, they put her in the, um... Extended the intro this, thing. Uh, yeah. Which I still haven't seen. Is that gonna drop? Like, when is that supposed to, like, officially drop as a thing in an episode? Is it? I have no idea, because that's what I thought it was gonna be part of an episode. But then they just kind of cut it together as this short and put it on CartoonNetwork.com and, like, aired it on TV. Oh. So I don't know what the deal is gonna be with that. Um, it's still really great, and I'm sure even though I've seen it like seven times, I'm still gonna be emotionally compromised when Devastated. I see it again. I, mm, I'll, ooh, I'm, I'm, like, okay, in I'm not context, gonna not watch it again. I'm gonna cry. I cried out of context, in context, I'll cry even more. Uh, yeah, yeah, holy shit. Like, sometimes when I'm just, like, really, really sad, like, when I had moon, moon madness on Sunday night, and, like, <laughs> nearly, like jumped out of a window because I guess my indigo child blood was too weak for the <laughs> astral powers of the lunar eclipse. I just had to sit and think about that opening and it was like, okay, there's joy. You were there's under happiness. the you were under the blood thrall of the blood moon? What? I had What like the a... fuck did you just <laughs> say to me? I had like a crazy <laughs> fucking I like lost my fucking mind. I had a panic attack. I couldn't do anything. Okay, now it's not funny, but, like, I mean, like... It was, it's, like, funny, not funny. You know, like, at the time it wasn't funny, but, like, in retrospect, it's like, what the hell happened to me? Because it's, like, I was, I was just, I was just, I was just bartending a really shitty, tiny wedding. Like, it was, like, a 50-person Well, I know, I was watching it from my window. I turned all the lights off, and I was, like, watching the whole damn thing. Oh, well, you got, like, into it. That's... (laughs) So I was. You let you ask you 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 beckoned. I guess my primal you. urges kicked in. I was like, "Yo, we're gonna die! I'm dying! I'm dying!" Nina, I thought the blood moon isn't a purge night. At first, I when you said moon madness, I'm like, "Is that what, Tooch? Does that mean period?" <laughs> <laughs> um, like I would know better. I don't want to ask her. That's <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Tooch, Tooch, can you can you ask my sister about her? Penis? <laughs> I'm not. Gonna... Yeah, whatever um, I tell you about it, you're like, nope, nope, nope. I hate it. It's this is the but, worst. Um, there was, like, I was trying to watch the Blood Moon, and like, it was cloudy all day. It cleared up just as the eclipse started, and right as it was about to reach full eclipse, it 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 it, 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 it the clouds came back. Yeah, I wasn't able yeah, to see the full to me. Like, I had a either. full, perfect view of the entire, like, lead-up to the fucking eclipse, and then I, like, I, I went down, like, the, the, the wedding was over, I was bringing stuff down, 
and I, I, I finished un, I finished putting away the bar and whatnot, and then I come back up to see the final fucking bullet, and there's like a sliver left when I went back down. I come back up, cloud. You can't even see any moonlight coming through them. Yeah, I, that's what happened to me, too. Those are some fast fucking clouds. Yeah. And then I, you know, tried to do some work, and then I was like, I can't breathe. What's happening? I can't do anything. I'm dumb. Ah, you, you, the whole world you is looked spreading up, in front you looked, of me. You looked up at the word processor, and all you had written a thousand times was blood for the blood. <laughs> blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 Yeah, so none Ow, of us got... I, so, I, like, hallucinated wolf howling noises. I really did. Jesus Christ, Nina. What? Well, there was... Stop. I couldn't tell yeah, if it was assholes the just pretending to howl at the moon or actual dogs just, freaking out. Just stop. Just don't look at the moon. <laughs> I it's hate the moon. For you. Yeah, the it's, it's like the opposite up. song of those those, the, the, those Sponge Monkey, that song about the moon. And then, then they did a Quiznos commercial. Moral All of the right. story is the moon is dangerous. Sailor okay. Moon lied to me. <laughs> We've got to uh, move on to wrap things up. Uh, <laughs> give me the stouts. Uh, okie dokie. Oh, wait, uh, uh, stouts is what, is what, is what Sean Connery orders at a bar. Oh, wait, did you guys not, did you guys not catch Bob's Burgs? No. No, I didn't. We don't normally, uh, recap that unless it's, like, something incredible. So. I guess. You know, I mean, I'm gonna not watch worthy of it, it's, it's just I'm forever. really behind. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right, I forgot you were super behind. My yeah. bad. Well, it, for anybody who didn't know, it's back. Yeah, it's, it's back, back, and I'm and sure I'm... it's better than ever. Yeah. This was okay. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Um, at Eric Radman said, Have been binging your show the past couple of weeks. It's fantastic. Will you do an episode on Batman the Brave and the Bold? I'd love to. Yeah, yeah we'd that... like... Yeah, we want to do that. We want to do... Uh, everyone has a bigger chin than Batman, Batman. What was that one called? Beware? Beware the Batman. Uh, beware the Batman. Kissy well, also, Lips like... Batman is what I call it. <laughs> K- Kissy Lips Batman. Yeah. Uh, and then the the Batman is the Batman show where the first where the first season everything was different and then everyone went just we hate it and then went okay fine and they just made it look exactly like the animated series by the end of the show. So that one maybe not, but the other two yes. Yeah, and like I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll I like I have good things to say about it. I would right, yeah. watching the Batman. Yeah, dreaded out Joker. Yeah, Monkey. we'll probably do every Batman. We haven't done any Batman yet, though, so <laughs> we should get on that. Um, at Sir- I, think we're all just, I think we're all just jaded by superheroes, so it's glow. Probably. Yeah, I am a little burnt oh, out yeah. with superheroes. I'm like actually super over it. Thanks, 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 Marvel Cinematic like, Universe. I'm actually really you excited for, for Halloween Comic Fest because all the comics are horror comics and not superhero comics. And, and and then that's another reason SPX was so great, because there was na- nary a cape in sight. <laughs> um, at Zero's Me says, In an Italian restaurant where everyone's on dates, just drinking martinis and listening to the Toon Goons. Like, we're all hashtag winning, your gu- you guys. <laughs> Are you the coolest mm-hmm. person? He is. You guys met him, you would know. Yeah. Shit, oh yeah, you are then. Mm-hmm. I know this for a fact. Dang. And... Living it up. He had a lot to say to us this week. Um, I can't imagine no one suggested reboot yet, especially with the rumored ahem reboot coming. But what about Mighty Max? And then he says, as I recall, the scheduling was a nightmare, but maybe you guys could track down the Pirates of Dark Water. I'm on a roll. Just realized Tim Curry was the antagonist. Definitely rewatching this. So are we. T- Tooch, what is he talking about? Pirates of Dark, Pirates of Dark Water? And Yes. What does that have to do with Mighty uh, Max and reboot? What no, was his no train it's just, of they're just suggestions. It's like he wanted. They're just all suggestions. Yeah, he wanted to say reboot, which Tooch at the very least has suggested. Uh, I call the absolutely. I'm calling the thing he's talking about the re reboot. We talked about it on a news thing the reboot of reboot that doesn't resemble reboot at all. Reboot two point mm-hmm. uh, Mighty Max. I don't know much about Mighty Max. I don't know anything about it. I always like. I've always seen like images of it whenever i would delve into like deep cut 80s cartoons all i know about it is like it's a it's like a from what i can gather of the images i've seen it's just like a it's like a 80s typical 80s little boy kid in like a backwards hat and like a t-shirt i think it has an m yeah on it has it, an m of course it fucking his, does his cap and i think also- he just goes on and then he just goes on adventures in places where his outfit doesn't fit that's all i He's know like about an the owl show. friend 
Yeah, I don't fucking know. Huh. I'm not sure. Like, I, I it's it's off my radar completely just because, like, there was a million of those cartoons in the 80s. And then the other one... Um... Pirates of Dark War. Pirates of Dark War, I remember watching as a kid, but I was very young, so I don't remember much. But it's basically like... It's basically like proto Pirates of the Caribbean, the film, the, the the that world. It's like, it's like it's like it's like high fantasy by way of pirates. So like, there's elf looking people and magic and dark, like evil it's stuff. Like Thundercats, like the... but pirates. Yes, that too. And like, but instead of Snarf, they have a they have a they have a parrot. Yeah, monkey I'm looking at it now is gross. He's gross. <laughs> And like he looks gross. And like I love Tim Curry, and I love him as a pirate. And um, I think um, but but I think I think the main the main deal with that show was it got it got canceled, but it carried itself as if it wasn't going to get canceled. So it's un it's one of those oh. dreaded unfinished ones because the plot was like we got to find all all <laughs> insert number here of crystal MacGuffins and save the world. They only found like the I don't Tula know three. woman who's like the token girl was. Very much filled the role of Chitara as like the sexual awakening for some people. <laughs> Looking at this game, wow, that's Google a that's a search. That's that's a that's a deep cut sexual awakening. Yeah, <laughs> not to use the phrase too many times, but that's what that wow. It, like like oh man, yeah, Chitara. Like oh I don't know, fucking uh, Tula. Esmeralda, Scarlet from GI Joe, Esmeralda, Pocahontas. Jasmine. Excuse me, Pocahontas. That was mine. Lauren and, Zook. <laughs> said Esmeralda. It's like, I still watch that dance and lose my mind. Me too. I... Man. Like, imagine, like, imagine being in that sort of, like, bro-ish discussion and then some motherfucker just goes, oh, you know, the, the chick from Pirates of Darkwater. <laughs> She's what? really pretty. Mine's um... like the cast of Soul Calibur 2, which is why I'm such a broken person. <laughs> <laughs> mine was, I think I forget. my first was Ariel. I forget what mine is. I, I, th- I just, I just, I think I, I just, I liked too many of them. And then, and then for dudes, it didn't happen life. until last year, until uh, Sin from Guilty Gear Exard. I saw that. And I was like, oh, oh, now I know I'm really in it. Now I, I know I'm like definitely Jim by. Hawkins from Treasure Planet for dudes. Cause, I don't know. Uh, Angst do- anyway. Yeah. We'll put those enough on. Of, the- enough about our enough about our very personal lives. Um, <laughs> this is, this is Thanks, a Lawrence Duke tweet. Everyone on Earth has wanted to fuck a cartoon. Yes, that's a fact. Um, so those right, are at- ours. <laughs> at Blue T, you can't have them. <laughs> they're mine. Mine. Mine are both video games, but they're drawn. It counts. At Blue T thirty two, April May. Uh, says best shout out ever. I'm out of the hospital. Survived the Nikki drinking game, and the shout out was the only gift my bro got me. You need to punch him. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll be that'll fuck? be yeah. Your gift from us was that, and then his gift f- from you is a punch. We'll m- work this out. Yeah, I'm um, glad you're feeling better. Um, at Corazon Unicorn, which I just realized that Corazon is a pun on Corazon. Way to go. You, I got that. I what? don't know. I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> would you guys ever consider doing episodes on animation live action hybrids, such as Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Space Jam? Definitely that first not one. Not the second one. I'm not opposed to I mean, it. I, okay. I'll, yeah, I am. I would absolutely love to do Space Jam, but I would absolutely love to talk about loads of cartoons that I know for a fact that we, this this show's this show's premise doesn't hold up for. I mean, it's an interesting genre, you know, and like the technology behind it and the innovation is like really fascinating and that in and of itself it gives a lot to talk about. And like, you know, who yeah. framed Roger Rabbit? Like, how did they get all those rights to get all those characters? You know, the f- yeah, Ro- Roger Rabbit has a lot. Roger Rabbit holds a lot more weight. Space Jam is just like N- Nike was really pushing this ad Come campaign. On and slam. Yeah, and like- it's just the song was dope, and uh. I mean, there was that and new, Wayne um, Knight Chinese farted a bunch. Movie. The new Chinese movie, Bill- Billy-, Billy West got to be Bugs Bunny. That was cool. Yeah, and then what was the new Chinese like Monster? Monster Boys. Monster Baby Prince Boy. <laughs> yeah, we, we, had... we did a news thing about it. So yeah, that genre is something we're not opposed to, as long as it's something that drives the movies. Like, we wouldn't do Mary Poppins, because there was just a bit of that in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I loved it. So, it was my favorite. So yeah, that, I, I really like that movie, too. And, like, the Penguins is the best part, I think. But probably. Is that probably the best part? 
There's a I penguin. Know, there were so many good parts. The the the, the rooftop. The cr- no wait no sad yeah actually pigeon lady song. No, Step in Time was the best part. <laughs> That was definitely the best part. It was just a good movie. I, when I was like five, I watched that movie every day. So, yeah. <laughs> Fun yeah. fact about me. All right, um, Plarcy McStuffle uh, <laughs> wanted to share with us that it it was his birthday on the twenty seventh, and he drew a picture of himself. I uh, happy assume. birthday, Plarcy. <laughs> I hope you had a nice time. Thank you for being a devoted fan. And Cranky Hermit said, would you guys ever consider throwing Death Parade on your watch pile? Uh, Death Parade is, I think, from the last anime season? or maybe It was the this year. Before that. Yeah. Well, 2015. Well, anime seasons are broken up into four. Yeah. I know, so. but I'm just, I'm giving the year. Because, like, yeah. I don't have time for that. <laughs> uh, I, have, I have some friends who are really into it. Uh, it's, like, I about don't... a bartender on the, and, like the afterlife or like people on the way to the afterlife sounds like it could be cool i don't know why not but also just to keep in mind to everybody that we're booked through the end of the year we got everything all planned Uh out so Uh you know next year we'll start fresh but this year we're yeah because we are gonna do japanuary again Mm -hmm. oh yeah i forgot that was a thing yeah so maybe for that but like it's We'll just pick four animes, and I would like to do another Watanabe. Uh, so, yeah, our upcoming schedule for the rest of um, Goon- Goontober. October. October. I already forgot the stupid bit. <laughs> uh, Spook-, Spook Goonber. Next week we're doing Parasite, which is, like, legitimately... Well, it's not, like, scary. Legitimate body horror. It, it's um, not for the faint of heart, I guess. It's, it's not for the faint of heart or the faint of butt. There's grody, there's grody, grody butts and glo- what is it? Grody, Gr- gro- grody guts and blood. <laughs> Gross and grody guts and blood. There you go. There's a um, lot of that. And then we're doing Hotel Transylvania, probably only the first one, maybe both, probably not. Probably and, uh, not. <laughs> and um, or, uh, Danny Phantom, which I've already started watching. Uh, I have not. I'll I've gotten to, to an episode. That. that theme song is the best at <laughs> being the worst. <laughs> We'll talk yeah, more. It, I, mm, I know every ex- word. It's extraordinary. We'll talk more about that uh, when it gets its time. Uh, ways to contact us. If you want to be shouted out on the show, here's how to do that. Our main website is our Tumblr, thetoongoons.tumblr.com, where you can find an archive of all our episodes and post it. Nina curates about cool animation stuff. You can also send us an ask there. Uh, one thing with all of our contacts, we're... We may uh, respond to you directly through the platform. Usually we'll just talk talk about them on the show, but I know Nina answered some Tumblr ask today. Yeah, sometimes I get in the mood. A lot of times I'm just, like, too busy, uh, and I just, like, stick it on for us to talk about the show. Because I don't know. I don't like talking for everyone else. I don't know. It feels weird. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, so that that's uncommon. We're not ignoring you. Just listen to the show, and you'll we'll see if we did. And we almost certainly won't, unless it's, like, really stupid. Uh, oh shit! I forgot somebody on. Stupid. Okay, we forgot somebody. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> stupid. Somebody linked oh, us. God. Somebody linked us an Ultraman short, uh, Mario Man- Mendoza. Which... Yes. Um, and then somebody went crazy on our SoundCloud. Oh yeah, uh, somebody Flame, uh, Master. Flame Master has been on our uh, DBZ episode. Yes. Uh, and our Teen Titans episode, and back to Kim. Like, it's Dan versus like they just. They've just been going through episodes and leaving a bunch of comments. Um, thank you for your feedback. Uh, I, you know, I'm reading it, and it's interesting to hear. Uh, you, but you know, thank you very much. And I do read your posts, and uh, I appreciate them a whole lot. Sorry, I haven't mentioned you before. Uh, I hope you continue to give us your thoughts, because I value you guys' thoughts. Uh, All right. and that is the truth. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of, there is we do have a SoundCloud that's where we upload our episodes directly. You can listen to them there if you don't want to download them. Uh, we've got a Twitter. We're at the Tune Goons. Uh, Tooch and I are also on Twitter. Uh, at Mike Tooch, is it? Yep. At Mike Tooch yep. and at Nikki the Rat. And I, one thing I found myself doing is like making like one or two tweets about the show as I watch them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I talked about the Danny Phantom 
theme song because how could I not? Uh, yeah. We got an email, which is the best way to contact us for long form stuff. And well, we guess... read everything. I yeah. swear to you, we read everything. I, I know I haven't been good about like actually writing you back with emails, but we do mention you on the show and we do read what you say. And I really appreciate them. That's the Goons at gmail.com. We got a YouTube, which the stuff's almost done rendering. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now, they, I mean, it is now. I just gotta now. I just gotta start uploading. Them. Yeah, and it's gonna be. We're gonna do like what one episode a day until we catch up. Um, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, and then uh, we're on iTunes. You can leave. A, you can subscribe there. Leave a rating and a review. Those are all really, really nice. Uh, told you a schedule. Told you everything. We're done, right? Yeah. Right. Everybody yeah, watch man. Parasite. And uh, this Saturday, w- I don't know when we're gonna be airing this episode so you it might have already passed but adult swim is starting to air parasite on tsunami at 1 a.m in english starting with in english duh, of course tsunami doesn't do dubs uh it subs tsunami doesn't yeah it, that's just not marketable for american television um and you should totally catch it and then you know you could listen to our episode or maybe listen to part of it and then tune in every week Watch it, love it. It's the it's it's one of my favorite. It's one of my all time favorites. Yeah, it's extremely yeah. good. It's, um, and it's all on Hulu, and so is Danny Phantom. Yes. So I think uh, you need a subscription. I think for one, I think for Danny Phantom, you need a subscription. Anime, you t- you typically don't need subscriptions to stream that, but a lot of the Nicktoons you do. Okay, well, figure it out yourself. Idiots. But it's out there. <laughs> I've been Nikki. I've been Nina. And I still can't figure out what the first cartoon I wanted to fuck was. And if you know the first cartoon Tooch wanted to fuck, email us in. Thank you for tuning in. (laughs) Bye, everybody. (laughs) 